everyone welcome to my video today in this video we are going to work with this model let's start by opening a new part in SolidWorks and on top plane we create one sketch now we need one circle here and then we convert to construction geometry and then later I have two line also one in the center I made three of them construction geometry I will make this two point on this center line symmetric and then here placing one arc this arc will have from here to here one and a half millimeter to be able to give that you should press your shift while you are measuring it one and a half and this is Parameter 30 and this will be 360 divided 12 this is our first uh, sketch and we can do one more thing that dividing this into two parts I uh, simply connect by arc with an extra construction line and right click over there and split entities and I just click over there somewhere and then I move the part that the point in the middle and making the other half a construction line later on on front plane I will create one uh, sketch and here creating a line and four and a half and at the end on this point we create a point in the center and a line and a point I use line to align my point in fact you don't need to by uh, dimensioning also you can provide that point on the right plane I'm creating a sketch now on that uh, point and then we will look normal to press my space and I go to my sketch here I need one line and later on I pick from here a spline starting here and ending over there later on I little bit play with my spline first thing will be making this one here tangent and giving a value which is 20 and here we will keep a 20 degree of tangency uh, angle and then later on 15 tangency value after this operation this will be done and we will create our other uh, curve then we will use our surfacing command I pick this line and I click on top plane according to that orientation normal to top plane I created here now one plane on this plane we create a sketch same idea here a spline and a bit playing with spline and then clicking our space and looking normal to there we can use this one to be able to give tangency tangency value will be again 20 and here we will have 12 tangency value and we have an angle of 20 at the end you will have three curved pair and one point now we go to surfaces plot surface point should be this one sketch 2 and other profile is this one 
right curves this and this one Guide curve 3 should be normal to profile and the rest is not that much important. We click OK and our operation is done. What we can do now creating a mirror by right plane. Bodies will be active. This is a surface body and then we copy this instance to our side. After this operation, we can hide this plane and look from top. On top plane, now we create a sketch. We will here have again a spline, again, this two point, we will define points. Before I will play with the spline, this point from here one millimeter distance and from here four millimeter fifteen and this angle will be eighty while we have a fifteen degree fifteen tangency value here also we have 15 tangency value. These are our dimensions. Now we can make a mirror here. Mirror entities, but we need first a construction geometry. The center. This will be mirrored here. And then we go to top plane again. I will convert this object and here create a radius so we will come again there it's too much I don't remember what was my value it's let's keep it to for now and here 25. If it is not working, we will fix it in surfaces, but it's fine. Radius 2 and radius 0 25. Now we can close the original one and then we can use our second uh, curves, which is the, have some fillets. Now we go to surfaces. And then a split line projection will be active this is our uh, sketch and this is our surfaces after this operation we will get rid of this two surface here we break and we remove it's kind of simply cutting like the extrude extrude cut but it's complicated now we will have our pattern operation I select my origin and top plane and then go under reference geometry and create an axis. First axis under the new pattern, a circular pattern, axis here active, 12 instances and bodies. As you see, operation is done. Now we will create a mirror top plane selected here bodies i click first and comment then and click then shift program will select everything for me that's okay surfaces mid surface we select everything And operation is done. Thicken will be here now. We will go inwards 0.5. If you want, you can make thicker. That's also possible. We wait that 
take an operation to be ready and then some simple radius operation will be finishing our model let's say here plastic or gloves some color nobody needs. and then we will place our fillets so 25 no preview this will be our area where we want to fill it simply i think we should select everything like this it will take a little bit time but bear with me inside and outside this is also okay by the way selecting surface and effect let's see first side how operation is done and then we will copy the other side now everything is looking okay now i will show one trick that we could at the beginning top plane cut with surface and uh, arrow will look to bottom and then we send that operation again front play top plane and then we come to mirror what is the mirror here we make a copy and merge so it will be active then our radius uh, operation will be copied there it's good to keep in mind now we will have one more fillet this will be here now i will try to see here do we have a possibility or not mm, it selects many another unnecessary edge then i will go do manually i select all edges almost done Zero to any five and whole edge having some radius. It is quite small. We can make it a little bit lively. Zero point five, for example. It's okay. It is fine and last operation our this last sketch operation and then operation is done three and a half maybe zero 75 yes this is looking a good point 17 and a half and again we will make a 17 and a half extrude but now in mid plane so 75 Fillet operation 0 0.75 divided by 2. This edge, this edge, and this one, and this one. And 
then later we have this fully completed model yes it is looking fine i believe it's a simple surface example for you thanks for watching if you